it's another skills Friday where we learn how to get our skill ready for the game so we ain't out there looking lame. Go gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment to our content. We are here to help you. Turn from cheese to the macaroni and cheese, man. Yeah, Harold, it's another Skills Friday for you guys today. Today, we're going to talk about Jalen Waddle how he's so dominant, how it helps you. So, basically, let's go into why Jalen Waddle was dominant. Well, it's obvious if you've watched Alabama this year, this guy is very fast. His top end speed is next to none. Once he's in the open field, he rarely gets caught from behind. Honestly, I can't even think of a time he got caught from behind, but that's besides the point. Secondly, he's very versatile. He could be used as a receiver, kick returner, punt returner, in a slot, as a running back, like you could put him anywhere. And third, you gotta be able to understand his determination to compete. He's always willing to compete. Everybody's seen him come out in the national championship and he was out there balling, but he was hurt. He was willing to play while hurt, but you wanna be safe. You don't wanna just go out there playing hurt. So let's go into the question. How does this help you? What does that say about me, Ray? Even though Jalen Waddle is an explosive athlete and a great wide receiver, his ability to compete and catch the ball and make, he makes it look and make a play every time he touches the ball is what you could really learn from this video. Okay, I understand that every play might not be a touchdown, but you might as well make it possible. Like you don't want to go out there catching the ball and be like, oh, well, I'm gonna get this five yard gain or the defender's coming. Like, oh, let me just fall down. It's like, no, bro. Catch that ball and make a play, man. The coach got you out there because he wants you to make a play. If you're on defense, you're out there to tackle a guy. You're out there to make a play on the ball. You're not out there. You're like, 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 nah, bro. Don't be passing. And also, you never know when you're going to touch the ball after that last play. Or you never know when you're going to be out there again. So you got to make sure you're making the most out of your opportunities. Also, be a competitor and understand that you got to keep going. Goats slip, but they never trip. If you slip, get up, but don't trip and lay there. Go gang. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or real on that field or extort on that court. The No Bottle Left Behind Act supports this video. You feel me?